Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel and today I'm going to talk about over 70 finds, books, magazines, and some comics that I found at one estate sale. It was just, it was amazing what these guys had and uh, this, this is what I found. I hope you enjoy it. Find some ideas, uh, things that are working for me in my store, give you ideas for what you can look out for and what's of value in your treasure hunt. So, hey, if you like it, subscribe. Hopefully I'll be posting these, you know, every week or two on things I find. And, um, you know, give me a like. I appreciate your feedback. So with that, hey, we'll just jump in. This, this estate sale that I went to had been going on for four weekends. And I was, I was either out of town or had something going on where I couldn't, couldn't make it the first three weekends. So I went on the last weekend and they still had tons of stuff. I guess the, the couple that the estate belonged to had owned a collectible shop and they had... I, the first weekend must have been insane because they still had so many. They had action figures and vintage toys, lots of good stuff. I thought all that stuff was still priced full-blown retail. I'd look If I looked something up, it would be at eBay prices or greater than eBay prices. I mean, it was good stuff, but it was full-blown. Um, I did find some great values, I think, some really good stuff in the books. And, you know, that's my wheelhouse anyway. But... I was hoping to find some other other cool stuff, you know, when you see cool, buy cool, but it just didn't work out. But my, my wheelhouse of books, I got a lot of stuff. So with that, let's just jump straight in. Uh, first, some technical books. I found, I've sold these before. This is Shapiro, this, uh, this dynamics and thermodynamics of compressible flow. These are some of the earlier hardback editions. Uh, this, these two together will sell for 50 bucks, maybe a little more, but I'm sitting around 50 bucks. Sometimes you see these in one volume or paperbacks. Again, I, I've had success with these a couple of times before. Uh, there's actually a third volume that's kind of like an annex that was published later, but these first two volumes, uh, a good $50. Now, what I bought here, all the hardbacks with the, maybe one or two, I'll, I'll point them out, were $3 each to, on this day. The soft cover books, paperbacks were $1.50. And most of the magazines and comics were one dollar. So, you know, I won't, that that's just the price of everything. So it was it was you know some good some good deals. A lot of times I get hardbacks cheaper than that, but for these, that's that's a really good deal. So fifty bucks for those. Then there was this um, conduction of heat and solids, a nineteen sixties book. This this is a solid. Um, this this is thirty bucks uh, again, three bucks. So that's that's a good technical book. Then. This was a really great one. It's this uh, theory of thin shells. You see this, for, I mean, anywhere from fifty to two hundred bucks. Um, I think I think I might be able to get a hundred for it. The guy had must have been really into thin shells because there were several other books I looked them up and they weren't weren't that much value. But this is a great one. Again, three dollars. It should be at least fifty, maybe up to a hundred, hundred and twenty. Um, dust jacket, excellent one. There was another thin shell book. Um, this was a one of these uh, engineering societies monographs, but it was the theory of plates and shells. So th this is uh, thirty bucks. Good, good find. Um, that was all the technical books. I did find a here's a James Fenimore Cooper, the pilot, Easton Press. This is uh, thirty to forty bucks all day long. I did pay five bucks for this one. So uh, great edition. No, no scuffs, just just perfect. So, hey, five bucks, I can get 30 bucks all day long, maybe even get 40 bucks for it. Another great find on the fiction categories. Um, I guess these guys were into a lot of crafting. I found, you know, some beading books. This particular one will be a 10, $15 book. There's a creative bead weaving, another kind of unusual one, solid 10 to $15 book. And then I guess because of their their store you know back in the day you didn't have the internet so you had to have books to tell you you know what the value of things were so here's one on this this Hobbs and Brock Brockenier uh, Brockenier I think how you say it, glass company value guide this is 10 to 15 bucks I got this for a dollar fifty it's a great one then uh, I thought this was funny and all of these will be solid you know eight ten twelve dollar books I may sell them lots but evidently Czechoslovakia makes a lot of perfume bottles and boudoir bottles. So, you know, hey, you can have a Czechoslovakian boudoir bottle book. And then, of course, the revised edition. You might have something on Czechoslovakian glass. 
hey, how about if something is made in Czechoslovakia? If it's good enough for that, have a sequel. Book number two on made in Czechoslovakia. So these were weird. They're all there. I've got, you know, so here's five books on Czechoslovakian glass, perfume, and boudoir bottles. You don't get to, I like to say that. You don't get to say that very often. So those were cool. Um, again, all those 10, 12, 12 bucks a piece. So for $1.50, I'll put them in a lot. They'll sell easy. Um, there's a railroad senior book. You know, I've had really good success on this kind of railroad modeling stuff. I bought a collection of railroad books about a year and a half, two years ago, probably four or 500 books. And there were tons of these in them. They'll sell, you know, some of these are 10, $15 a piece. I've had really good luck to get them for the dollar, dollar fifty or less. So that's good. Here's a uh, painting and weathering. You know, if you want to do nice dry brush techniques, that's, that's a $10 one. Uh, here's another $10 one on not railroads, but if you want to, how to paint, do model kit, you know, this food and markets. So that's, that's $10 online. All those were $1.50. Uh, kind of an interesting late Victorian architectural details. These guys had tons of stuff. I, I didn't have as much time as I wanted to go around, but you know, this is goes, you know, has lots of black and white drawing panels. Um, you know, lots of details for the artist again, 10, 12 bucks. Um, Here's a, here's a Crystal Palace exhibition catalog. It's a, it's a, you know, kind of a, shows some of this vintage stuff. Again, solid 10 to 12 bucks. Um, here was, a, this actually, I'm gonna keep this one, hand book binding. I've played around with this myself. I don't have any of this gear, but I've played around with, with doing some book binding, find it very interesting. So this one will stay in my collection. Um, then they had lots of price guides, and I, you know, I've had good success on those. But even a dollar fifty, I like to get those price guides a little lower. But when I did buy that, you know, this is, you know, hardback, nice edition. This German toys, I thought it was kind of funny too that it was 1924 to 1926. It's specialized in that time. Huge, huge book on on German toys. Um, you know, reprinted some of the catalogs. Uh, this is a solid, solid twenty dollar book. Um, it's good, good find there. Then along the collecting front though, one thing that I did, I thought was, was bizarre and I love when I find this stuff. There was a hardbound edition of the Heise glass newscaster. Now this was volume one through six, 1971 through 76. Now Heise, if you, if you don't know Heise, Heise glass was started in like the 1850s or so. They sold out to Imperial glass in like the 1950s and then imperial glass went out of business in like the 1980s so this is like vintage glass stuff and you know essentially these are newsletters that you know talk about you know Heise glass and those newsletters that were put out in the 70s so for collectors this is this will be something kind of cool i've seen some of these bound together 30 and 40 dollars again i paid three dollars for this volume and um, you know, I, I expect to get at least 30 bucks for this, so that's good. Along that line, there was here was a lot of another Heise. These are you know, there's five of them, and this is the Heise News, I think. Let's see what this what this one is. Yeah, the Heise News, and they're in the 70s, like from 1972 through 80 something. So it must have been right when Imperial Glass, you know, right before they went out of business. But you know, there's all this this collector information. Um, Values at the time, which are going to be dated, but information on shows, all about, you know, old dealers. So people that are into Heise Glass, this whole, you know, it was an official Heise Collectors of America publication. Uh, I think these will sell. I'll, I'll, I'll probably put them in a lot so somebody can just get them all at once. And, you know, I've got uh, $15 in that lot of five. You know, I'm hoping to get over 100 bucks for them, 100, maybe 120 bucks if I can get... 20 or 30 bucks a piece for them, that'd be great. So um, it's gonna be a thin market. I, I might hold on to these a minute, but you know, there's not gonna be like 100 people trying to bid this up. It'll be a fixed price, and um, but they'll sell, it'll be good. All right, so moving those out of the way, that was the most of the books. Now, this place had a room. It was a small room where they had, let's say, um, mature reader, more exp what, at least what the estate company thought was a little more explicit. Uh, what fell into that was like heavy metal magazines. So 
you know, heavy metal started in like 77, you know, and it was, it was explicit content. So I got, you know, a bunch of these were 2000, 2001 copies. I got them just because I liked heavy metal magazines from the day, you know, in the seventies when these came out, you know, if you're a teenager in the seventies, you know, these weren't exactly like your playboys or your penthouses or something like that. But you know, it said some pretty explicit content. So it was like fanboy wet dreams, right? Um, just some, some of the, some of these covers, got them all for a dollar a piece. These will typically sell a lot of times in this time period, these will sell people do free shipping and ship, you know, there'll be 15 to $18 with free shipping. So, you know, it's just, just some good subject material, great covers. Uh, I liked them. So I got them, I'll, I'll sell them, but I, you know, just a sucker for them. I wish some of the old ones, I wish the stuff from the eighties was there. Uh, that would have been a blast, but yeah, this, this explicit or this, um, mature room, I'd ask about some pricing. And it was this lady, she was like in her fifties and she's like, Oh, that, that comes from the small room. And she's like looking at me like I'm kind of creepy or something. And she's like, I'm not old enough to go into the small room. Said about herself, you know, and I'm like, you're 50 years old. Come on. Um, but I guess they, they, they just felt apprehensive about some of the explicit material in the small room. Uh, this was in there, the vampires chronicles. This will be, it's a, it's a $10 book, but it's signed. It's signed by, um, by this, by the author Linzer. So I'll research it. This may bump it up to a $20 one. So that's good. Um, demon baby. That was a buck. You know, it's a deluxe kind of trade paperback. Um, that's, that's a solid 10 to 12. Then on, on the magazine front, there was a whole, I got several of these, uh, dollar piece. And these are amazing, um, action modeler, fiction, amazing figure modeler. Had some cool, you know, cool covers, but you know, these, these are where people are, you know, actually building, you know, building some of these, um, you know, really detailed from scratch painting, building, uh, big action figures. So should just show you some of the covers, good stuff. Um, these, some of the early ones, there's a couple of them in here that are, it's like issue five and six. Those will bring about five, six, seven. Those will bring about 15, $20 a piece. Some of these others, I may sell them individually for 10 bucks or I may, I may bind them. There's Hellraiser. Um, you know, some, some cool stuff. Look here. There's, there's, I think that's probably Conan. I don't know. Maybe Tarzan. That's Tarzan. Sorry. Um, some, some cool stuff. Oh, there you go. There's Conan. So, and, uh, there's, there's Robbie the robot. So good finds. I'd never seen that magazine before. Excellent. Then there were a couple of, uh, kit builder magazines. Uh, these, these will sell together for, I got them a dollar a piece. These will sell for maybe just put them two together, 12 or 15. Um, so that's kind of the magazines. Then there were some comics. Now I used to do comics years ago. I, I've still got a ton of comics. But I've kind of been out of that scene, but I saw these and they were a buck a piece. There's like a witch blade, one of the wizard editions. Then there was a, a, a stack of stuff from the, it was a serious comic, um, serious, like the star. Um, you know, these are 94, 93, 1994 time frame. Uh, this Dawn character, you can see, I, I may send these and get them slabbed, CGC them. These may bring, you know, eight, five, eight, ten bucks as they are, but these are in such exquisite condition. It looked like these had never even been open and read. Um, I think they'll be high nines. I think they'll be at least a nine, four, nine, six. Some of these could get a nine, eight rating. With a nine, eight, that, you know, ten dollar book or eight dollar book is a hundred dollar book. Now, it cost me uh, 20, 20 bucks to, you know, shipping and then 20, 20 bucks to get it graded for modern. It'll be in the modern age, I think. But I think those will be worth sending to CGC just because they are, uh, which is a whole nother topic on whether you like CGC or not. But um, it's uh, unfortunately just the way the marketplace is on grading and getting those. But if I can slab those out at with nine eights, it's going to be a big, big, big return on, on, on my investment there for a dollar each. And they are, those things are pristine. Along that line, here are some Lady Deaths from the early 90s. These are actually the foreign edition. Uh, years ago, I had the uh, US edition and sold those at one point, but there's issue three, um, issue two. Now I paid five bucks each for these. So 
Here's the first one, Chaos Comics. These are foil covered, pristine. I think I'll get these slabbed as well, so good stuff. And then there was another one that I paid five bucks for, this foil, Vampirilla and Lady Death. Definitely a, a candidate to get slabbed, so um, take a little more effort, but it'll be worth it. Okay, so I think that's all the comics. Um, some other, other things out of the little room, the mature room. There's the Spectrum 6. This is for fantasy art. This is uh, 15, 20 bucks. Um, then there was, hey, one of my one of my favorite, talk about being a fanboy. I always love Boris, you know. Uh, this is a really good one. This is about uh, 30 bucks. Then here's another, it was paperback. I paid $1.50 for it. Here's a Boris 3D Magic. This one's only about 10, but hey, I love Boris, so I had to buy it. Uh, here's, you know, kind of Boris related, The Art of Rowena. Uh, this is this is 10 15 bucks hardback uh, Then talking hearkening back to the previous the the heavy metal. Here's a this uh, Luis Royo uh, Women he was an illustrator in heavy metal uh, This this is 10 bucks um, Soft cover paid dollar fifty for it thought it was cool then along also along the um, heavy metal now this was some pretty explicit stuff, but if you don't know Sapiri, his sketchbook here, this is the the Druna character that uh, he created for heavy metal and has done a lot of stuff with over the years. And this can be very explicit. Uh, this is fifty bucks. This is his sketchbook. I actually had it in a protector hardback, fifty dollars. Then there were some other Druna books. Two copies of the Druna X2. The X is there for a reason. Uh, and then here's the the other. I can sell these as a lot. These two hardbacks together have just sold uh, on eBay for $170. These are easily $50, if not $70 a piece. And like I said, I can put these two together, the Druna X and Druna X2. And then um, I have a second second copy. So, you know, I've got um, like $120 bucks in all this stuff that I bought. And I'll make that back with these two right here. So that is a good deal. Uh, that's what you like when you're trying to resell, right? Um, so that's it. Over 70 items uh, blasted through them. I hope hope you found out you know those to be you know entertaining, useful. You never know what you're going to find. It's part of the fun of the treasure hunt. So you know, hey, um, good luck in all your all all the things that you're trying to find in your thrift stores and bookstores and estate sales. And um, I'll talk to you next time. So thanks. <laughs>